Right. Today we are going to see the Shloka 30 of the Lalita Sasranamam recitation and word by word meaning. Vishukra Pranaharana Varahi Viryanandita Kameshwara Mukaloka Kalpida Shri Ganeshwaraha Vishukra Prana Harana Vara Hi Viryanandita Kameshwara Mukaloka Kalpita Shri Ganeshwaraha Vishukra Prana Harana Vara Hi Viryanandita Kameshwara Mukaloka Kalpita Shri Ganeshwaraha Now let's see the word by word meaning Vishukra Vishukra is the name of an Asura. Prana Harana. Prana means life. Harana means destroy. So Prana Harana means destroying a life. Vishukra Prana Harana. Destroying the life of an Asura named Vishukra. Varahi. Varahi is the name of the goddess who took an action against the Asura Vishukra and killed him. Virya Nandida. Virya means the boldness, the bravery. Nandida means one who becomes happy, one who becomes overjoyed. So our goddess Lakshmi is very much happy to see that the Varahi goddess had killed the Asura named Vishukra. And he, she is so much happy to see the bravery of the goddess Varahi to go uh, and fight against the Asura Vishukra. Kameshwara. Kama Ishwara. Kama means the uh, likeness or the love. Ishwara. Ishwara means the God. So, the God who is very much famous for love is the Shiva Bhagavan. Mukha Loka. Mukha Aloka. So, Mukha means face. Aloka means seeing or watching or viewing. Mukha Loka means on seeing the face. Kameshwara Mukha Loka. That means on seeing the face of Bhagavan Shiva. Kalpida. Kalpida means giving orders. Shri Ganeshwaraha. Shri means the all the fortune. Ganesha is the uh, child of uh, Parvati and Shiva, who is the first child of Parvati and Shiva. Varaha. Varaha means giving blessings to Shri Ganesha Varaha. That means giving blessing for the fortune of the child Ganesha. That means for bringing out the child Shri Ganesha or making or nurturing the child Shri Ganeshwara. Kalpita Shri Ganeshwaraha. That means giving orders to give birth to the uh, god Sri Ganesha. And there is a story behind the Sri Ganesha's uh, origin because he was born according to the order of Parvati Devi when she was uh, taking bath inside her uh, palace and he, she was given orders that nobody should come inside the palace until she has finished her bath. So, Sri Ganesha never knew that the uh, Shiva will come and he doesn't know that Shiva is allowed to enter the palace because that is his palace. So, she, when Parvati created out of love the Ganesha, she uh, gave order which will be uh, taken care of by Sri Ganesha at any cost. So there uh, Shiva comes and there becomes a fight and she, when Parvati saw while they were fighting, uh, Shiva took the head of Ganesha. 
So on the order of Parvati to bring back the Ganesha to life, Shiva took the head of the elephant, which he gave orders to others that whoever be animal or a human being, whoever comes, uh, whoever they see first, they have to take the head and they have to fix it for the child Ganesha. So that's how Ganesha was uh, born with elephant's head and the body of the god. So Kamishwara Mukaloka Kalpita Shri Ganeshwara. For the origin of Shri Ganesha Bhagavan, Parvati Devi Goddess has ordered the Shiva Bhagavan while seeing his face that she has to get back his Ganesha. She has to get the life of Ganesha back. So that's how Ganesha was born with elephant head. Vishukra Pranaharana Varahi Viryanandita Kameshwara Mukaloka Kalpita Shri Ganeshwaraha Vishukra Pranaharana Varahi Viryanandita Kameshwara Mukaloka Kalpita Shri Ganeshwaraha Vishukra Pranaharana Varahi Viryanandida Kameshwara Mukaloka Kalpita Shri Ganeshwaraha Thank you.